Hello everybody, welcome to another great episode of Distilled, Brewed, and Reviewed. My name is John. Welcome to my sipping den. I can quickly state that I do everything that has anything to do with alcohol on this channel. That's pretty damn cool. I also do a world famous coffee review. Let me just quickly tell you, I got the best um, playlist on YouTube. That is a fact. And you can prove it by just going to it right now. I got everything so categorized and subcategorized and easy to find. I'm pretty proud of it. Check it out. You're going to be amazed. That I promise you. Every comment, every video I make has a link to whatever I'm reviewing, in this case, beer. You just have to see it to believe it. I, I, words will not describe it. Now, I have a lot of friends on YouTube, and a lot of you are watching right now, and I'm sure everybody appreciates the fact that to make things fair, I do these reviews with half my taste buds tied behind my back. And to do everything that has anything to do with alcohol and coffee, quite frankly, I'm the only one in the world that can do it. It's not bragging, it's just the truth. Now, Three Floyds Brewery. This is interesting. Check this out. Pillars of Beasts. Hmm. Barley wine style ale brewed with salted caramel aged in oak barrels. There's more to it than that even. It's not normal. I'm just looking at the, at the uh, label. Salted caramel, barley wine aged 12 months a year in bourbon barrels with vanilla beans and cocoa nibs. <laughs> it's going to be good, I think. Um, it is in Munster, Indiana. Okay. Um, started in 1996. 13.7% ABV. Whew. Um, barley wine is a strong ale that leans heavily on malt characteristics for flavor. It is great for aging. Thus, they age this for 18 months in the next bourbon barrel. It is 18 IBUs. I should show you the cool... Now, Three Floyds, there's a place in Indiana called Floyd's Knobs. Floyd's Knob, Floyd's Knobs. I enjoy it. I love it up there. It's beautiful. It's outside of Louisville. And it is, I don't know if we can see the cap here. Yeah, there is. It's a very beautiful uh, country there. Close to Louisville, so you can do things in the city, but out in the country, and it's just it's gorgeous. I like a winery up there. It's um, Uber's Winery and Orchard. It's a cool little place. I go there quite often, uh, being as I'm in Louisville. I am going to visit this distillery because I'm excited about it. So, let's open it up. We will use an iconic opener. If you don't like this opener, look at that. Look at that. All right. And we will pour in a glass. We'll check out the uh, color, right? Sniff it. Taste it. We'll describe it. First, we'll put this in my jar of caps. Because someday, I'm going to do something with them. Maybe, probably, probably not. I don't know. I collect this crap. All right. What do I got here? Okay. It's from Margaritaville, Las Vegas. All right. Pick up stuff. All right. What color is this? What color is this barley wine style brewski? Hmm? I don't think there's any sediment. But if there is, we want it. We want to capture it. There we go. Ooh, I'm smelling some stuff from here. What are you looking at? Hmm? What color is that? Look at the carbonation. Look at the head. Can you hear it? The fizz? Whoa, daddy-o. There's a lot going on in this bad boy. I have been overloaded. <sighs> there, I mean, there's malt, there is chocolate, there's barrel, there's bourbon, there's caramel. <sighs> oh my God, that smells good. 
even the vanilla's come through, and vanilla never comes through, especially because it's delicate to me. And it's just got so much stuff, but I guess from the barrel too, from the bourbon. Plus they put vanilla in it, so. Damn, this thing smells like a candy. It really does. Okay, I'm just gonna sit here and smell it for an hour and a half. Damn, thanks. All right, now. 13.7 ABV though, that's some stuff there. All right, let's give it a taste. It smells fantastic. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Oh my. It's thick. It tastes like um, a chewy caramel candy that's been melted and it's thick like that. Mm. I can't drink too much of this. It is so rich. Oh my God, it's caramel candy with, with the vanilla center. And it's thick like a car. Caramel's good too, man. It's, uh, it's got that kiss of toffee chocolate. The barrel, the bourbon. Mmm. Wow. I mean, it's a candy. Here's the problem. I really have to sip this because it's 18 or what? 13.7. I want to do this slow. Um, it's tasty. This is a good. This is this. Is, now this is a one. Okay, one. I don't like beers with that much alcohol. I'm gonna tell you why. I like to drink a few and relax and drink it and go through. It's like drinking a. I don't like coffee with extra caffeine because I'd rather have two or three cups than one. I'd rather have three beers than one a lot of times. Now this sucker's full of flavor, don't get me wrong. And this is gonna be the only thing I'm done now. So if I'm drinking this with people, I'm done now. Or at least I'm done for a while. I'm gonna be drinking water. Spacing it out. And I wouldn't drink more than two of these ever, or more than one. I wouldn't drink, uh, at a time. Because it's too thick, it's too rich, it's good, it's it's delicious, it really is. But it's it's one. It's one for a lot of reasons. It's too thick, it's too rich, it's too flavorful, it's too, the ABV is too big for me. I can never do two of these. Uh, but if I'm drinking a couple and then I drink this and then take my and drink a couple more lighter Pilsners or lagers, uh, that would be fine. Uh, but not, like you couldn't, you know, no. That's what I have to say about it. I would like to say this, and I always say this. I bet this is damn good out of a tap. All right, so I'm impressed with this one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna head out to this place here. I don't think it's too far from me. At least I hope I don't think it is. And uh, and we're gonna have a nice day there. We're gonna have a nice day at this brewery. I'll be checking out their stuff and uh, looking forward to going. See what I can pick up there as well. So. All right, well, I'll be looking for more of their beers. I'll be heading to their brewery. It is uh, basically local for me. I'm not going to miss it. They've done a fine job. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to sub. If you find any of their beers, check them out. I mean, this one's really good. It really is. It's, but it's 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 rich, rich. No, it's, it's a rich one. So uh, thank you for being here. I'll see you on the next one.